Hey, welcome back, guys. I'm Sunny. I'm Roz. I'm Chris. And we're just a click, and we're joined by Chi. Hi. Well, she was here for our one of our earliest episodes, episode two, I believe, on season one, and now we're here at the beginning of season three, and we thought we'd uh, invite her back. So <laughs> <laughs> she sounds very excited, very I enthusiastic. Am. I am. <laughs> Black Friday is coming up, and there's gonna be a lot of shopping going on. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys like about? Slash hate about shopping. Losing money. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when I don't have the money to have, in, or I don't have the money to spend in the first place, I, I should say, yeah. Actually, that's fair. I just hate, like, interacting with people in general. Oh. <laughs> like, I, I know it sounds, like, horrible, but I don't know. I just don't like, like, standing in the line, waiting for checkout, and then, like, sometimes, like, people can give you attitude for, like, no reasons, so. Do people, do random people talk to you guys in the line? No, I mean, like, sometimes even, like, the cashiers. Oh. Like, yeah, I don't wow. actually... Yeah. Is it only me? <laughs> they talk to you? <laughs> yeah, they talk to me. What, what do they talk to you about? I don't know. I just stand there, I'm, like, chilling around, <laughs> do my own business, and then, hey, man. The, I don't know. It's, like, like strike up a conversation with me or something. So it's inviting, weird. funny. So it's inviting. So, uh, it's yeah. weird. Like, uh, one time... Oh, some, oh, sometimes, even, like, people, too. Sorry. <laughs> Good uh, job, yeah. Even, like, like, a fast food place, I'll sit there, like, standing in line. And uh, I can say one time was at the Popeyes I was going to to get the chicken sandwich. Man, the guy in front of me started talking to me, and so did the guy in the back. <laughs> so we had like a little conversation <laughs> about chicken sandwiches. <laughs> what the heck? I, I don't know, but I guess I'm just really inviting to people. Like, that's they interesting. Want to talk to me or something? I, I guess I can see that, but a line? I, I don't think I've ever had an interaction in line unless it was like very like a very extenuating circumstance like I drop something or they, or they have a baby I'm like oh he's cute or she's cute or something unless it's something like that I don't think I've ever actually struck up a conversation with somebody in the line to buy stuff I know that for me if it ever does happen it usually happens at my giant <laughs> <laughs> it always happens at the grocery store for some reason I don't mm -hmm, know people mm -hmm. are just like yeah. buying their eggs and milk and stuff mm -hmm. and they just want to talk to me about it yeah <laughs> so uh, how many eggs you got today a dozen <laughs> you know standard <laughs> Yeah, that's just something I really hate. I don't know, something also like what well, I like. you don't like that? Yeah, I don't you like don't it. You don't like it? Oh. It's weird because oh. it's it makes me uncomfortable. Like, oh, just kind of like talk to me. Like, I don't even know you. You but just don't like small talk? Nah, not really. If I don't know the person. That's mm. fair. It's just, it's just weird to someone just like something that speaks to me. Like we're just buddies or something. Buddy, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, small talk to me is kind of more of a, a mechanism just to get past talking with somebody. Because if I know you, we don't we don't go to small talk. We go past right. that very quickly and talk mm -hmm. about something we have in common. Mm -hmm. um, like right. How's the weather today? That's boring. If that I was, is very If, if I'm with people I know, we complain about the weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Um, okay, but shopping. <laughs> I don't actually do Black Friday shop. I don't go like, in person for that because, mm -hmm. I mean, the stories, <laughs> the oh, memes. Like, you know, sometimes when I went Black Friday shopping with my dad, I actually didn't experience that kind of, like, the rush. rush. So we, yeah. I think we're like quite organized when we went inside. So I think it depends on where you go to. Like I know we have a couple malls around here, and if you go to a certain one, I think it would be like kind of a mess. I, I think people would actually die in a stampede. Yeah, but if you go to the less popular ones, I don't know. There's, I think it's less crazy. And maybe because I went to Staples. Okay, Sunny. I need to get the samples now. The only other person you see there is Michael Scott trying to get all the paper. <laughs> Dude, hey, I man, need a new. Paper's expensive. <laughs> that is true. No, 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 you're right. You're right, Sunny. Very for real. Your pencil pouch, man. <laughs> pencil pouch. Why were you going there? Like, what were you buying at Staples on Black Friday? I my laptop there. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, most people try to get stuff from like Best Buy because I know the yeah. Best Buy near me. You can see the live people wrapped around mm -hmm. oh, like man. the building. I was I see like, tents. holy. Yeah. You see tents? Yeah. I thought it was just a meme, but people actually like pitch out tents. Oh like right gosh. before, like, so that they're at opening time? Yeah. Yikes. That's, see, I've, I don't think I would ever find myself in that situation because I like Thanksgiving way too much to be out in, in the, yeah, cold the cold on Black Friday. Yeah. Also, it is especially cold. This, yeah. this time this around. Time, yeah. um, so basically, the way I do my Black Friday shopping is usually uh, uh, the Monday after. It's like all the deals. Cyber all Monday. Cyber, Cyber Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, shopping from bed is pretty fun. Yeah. And you still get huge sales and deals and you don't have to deal mm -hmm. with people. Yeah. And you don't have to deal with lines. 
We got our black Yeti, which is what we use to, um, our blue Yeti, actually. It's, it's just blue black. Yeti, but it's black, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a black Yeti. But we got it, um, during Cyber Monday, too, I think, last mm-hmm. year. Yep. $80. $80. From the original, like, I don't know, 120 125 yeah. something like that. Yeah, we got a good deal on it, mm-hmm. so... And that's what we've been recording with. Uh, but my laptop I got on sale also, f- but it was it wasn't Cyber Monday. It was still Black Friday, but it was online. Mm. So mm-hmm. to me, it was the same thing. Yeah. The whole yeah. weekend is filled with deals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. so it was only like a ten percent off, but it was the computer I really wanted at the time. Hey, some percentage off is bad enough. Mm-hmm. That's true. And it was a Sargi like top of slide. I'm like, you know, screw it. It's never gonna go on sale ever again, mm-hmm. unless it's like too late and it's updated. Mm. But I was happy with that. Uh, what about you, Chief? What, what sort of things do you like to buy? What, in general? Or yeah. is it like Black Friday? We're talking about, well, in general, just buy the normal things that you guys buy, like food. It's probably my favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> actually, uh, there should be like a day for like right? every, every single food item like on sale. On sale, yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, beside that, no. I, I mostly do my shopping like online. If I can get away with like, online shopping, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. sure. Then again, like sometimes if things like don't work out or something, then you have to end up returning it. And, uh, it's like the that's whole circle again. Yeah, like that's a to huge be in line. Hassle. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just like a hassle. Mm-hmm. I guess I guess that's a good good time to talk clothes. Do we do you guys buy clothes online or in person? I always do it in person. In person, it's so like a try it on. Yeah, yeah, try it on. Well, for me, if it's like jeans or pants, then I need I need to try it on. Mm-hmm. Like True. tops, like I know my size, so mm-hmm. it's usually pretty easy. What I do is I usually go to a physical store, uh, try stuff on, mm-hmm. get my size, write it down, and yeah. then I just buy it online. I should, yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I do too. <laughs> I, I, I do that for shoes. Yeah. Because uh, I've, I'm size 13 and it's sometimes rare to, the shoes I want It's hard I to find to, shoes yeah. online. Or it's hard to find shoes in stores. I mean, they do go up to 13. That's kind of like the cap sometimes, but mm-hmm. not always in the shoes I want. Yeah, right. So that I get the shoe I want, I get that barcode, and then... You know, this is random, but what I do, I buy shoes off the kids' section. But I just feel too embarrassed to buy it in store, so I just go home and order online. It's like you save a lot of money by that. I mean, yeah, you, you save have smaller a lot. feet. That, yeah. That's how you save money. The shorter friends in our group get a lot of like they save a lot of money by buying in the yeah, kids section. Yeah, I just buy. Mm-hmm. For but it's still boys. like perfectly good clothing. It's still the same thing. It's the yeah, same thing. It's yeah. just yeah. Same thing. the kids cheaper. section. It's cheaper, Which and that bothers me because I'm a relatively large person, mm-hmm. and I have to pay the full price for everything. But yeah, at you least you don't have to pay more. What do you mean? Like. You don't have to pay more just because your shoes are larger. That's true. The shoes, the really? shoes I'm okay with. Sometimes uh, you do act like depending on the brand and the depending better, on the yeah, size, oh, yeah. you actually do have to pay more because it's like more material. Yeah, what? yeah. it sucks for me because I have wide feet. I don't have long feet, so kind of it's kind of hard for me to shoe shop. Mm. Oh, yeah, it sucks for that. Yeah, and that's I, like. But, a, but they have they have an entire like section of shoes which are like let's say ten, but then ten W like for wide. Yeah, mm-hmm. specifically made for like uh, people with wider feet, mm-hmm. which I guess is kind of nice. And it also sucks that my like feet are disproportionate from each other. Oh. So one feet is like my left foot is bigger than my no, my right foot is bigger than my left foot. Oh, by how much? By like an extra inch. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Inch. Yeah, it's like wider. It's much wider than my left foot. Oh, I see. That's crazy. So, mm-hmm. do you have to buy two pairs of shoes and return one, but, <laughs> but a mismatched pair? I don't know. It's weird because I remember when I went shopping with Rasme, and we had to buy these shoes right here that I'm wearing right now. And like, none of the shoe size that I tried on would fit me. But when we got the wide, like for my right foot, it fit. But for my left foot, it's kind of loose. It's a little loose. Oh. So it, it's really hard for me when when it comes to shopping for shoes. That's interesting. Yeah, that's um, something I've never. You guys don't have disproportionate feet. <laughs> I, mean, I know that. Uh, I know that Riza does. Like she, both her feet are like relatively wide, but they're like the same width. But she does have like one of her feet. I think it's her, like her left foot is probably like a size bigger than the other one, mm-hmm. and so she just has to buy big. <laughs> That's why it sucks when I go ice skating with you guys because my feet are disproportionate. Oh, and since you know you have to tighten your like mm-hmm. shoes, mm-hmm. since my right foot is bigger than my left. I have to get like a like a size bigger, but then my left foot feels so loose. Right, that must that be. That's how painful. you <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> the Ice skating sucks for me is different. I, I just have a weak lower back, and like every time I try ice skating, actually I only tried once. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just had a stiff ass back for the last time. Turns out, paraspinal muscle spasms. Mm-hmm. Fancy word for just it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and we talked a lot about like us hating like shopping. Mm-hmm. It's like. Anything you guys like about shopping? Yeah. 
Oh, what do I like about shopping? Yeah, I've, I got a bunch, actually. Mm-hmm. But what do you dislike shopping? What do you dislike about shopping, Chief? I just told you guys about, like, human the, interactions. No, <laughs> I, mean, I mean more like products. Is it something that you just oh. don't like? Like, for me, it'd be clothes. I don't like spending money on clothes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think we had this conversation a long time ago. But basically, I could spend $10 on food three days straight. But I will be very, very hesitant to spend $30 on one shirt that I can use for, like, a the rest time. of my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And money-wise, it would make more sense for that shirt. But I don't know. The instant gratification of eating food versus, <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, I just suddenly I'm, su- I'm suddenly I'm a really frugal person when it comes to buying clothes. Isn't like the same thing like the app store where you see like a game for like a dollar? You're like, oh, mm. nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. But then we go on Steam and drop 60 bucks on the newest release. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. I spent a lot of money on games and food, but I've, I've been like spending more money on clothes recently. Um, like before, I money was like pretty hard to come by for me because I didn't have a job or anything. But now that I do and I do have money... <laughs> I'm more willing to spend money on clothes now, like, because either I need it for work or I just, like, want to have this particular thing, and I don't really buy a ton of clothes or anything like that, but if there's something that I know that I would really like, I don't really have a problem with buying it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, for me, I hate buying stuff for, like, other people, but I'm not sure about, so, funny <laughs> story, I was actually at the Walmart um, before I came here today to record this. And my mom asked me to buy her some cereal, mm-hmm. and she was not like very specific. She was like, you know, get me some kind of like some something like smaller, easy to chew, something with raisin in it. That's what she okay. said. Like no name, no brand, no whatsoever. I was like, what? And so I literally spent like fifteen minutes just standing <laughs> like front of the shelf, like trying to figure out which one. I bought. I was like, this is only three dollars. The other one is four dollars. Like, should I get her the cheaper one? But then she'd be nagging me. It's, it's, yeah, so. I just hate like this buying remi- stuff. For, that like, reminds people. me of the difference between me and my sister. See, when uh-huh. my sister goes shopping for my mom, she says, go get something like this. Right. She can really quickly solve the problem by calling them, calling my mom and saying, mm-hmm. all right, so is it this or that? Or she like video calls and shows them. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. I will, I will literally, I could solve the problem by calling my mom, but no, I have to stand in front of the shelf and I'm like, hmm, I have to guess. Yeah. And I hate it. I hate not being sure exactly what to buy. Right. Like, there was a time I was just supposed to get butter. Literally the easiest fucking thing to buy. Right? And I do it all the time. And I went there and there were two brands. And I'm like, all right, which brand does she want? And then so I just bought the slightly cheaper one. And she's like, yeah, it didn't matter. But for me, for some reason, it mattered. Mm-hmm. Like, my mom has, like, the favorite brand. is like Land Lakes or whatever. Yeah, Land Lakes is good. Or something. And is that the one with the Indian one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but then I got the giant brand because it was cheaper. I don't know what. In any case, it just bothers me to buy stuff for other people when I'm not sure. So I can agree well, with you on that. The thing is, with my mom, she's always like, well, anything works. But at the same time, it's like, but what is anything? Like, <laughs> that's that's not true. When you say anything works, like, that's not true. Like, All right, so you guys brought it up. I got a question for you guys. Would you guys, so you guys either like the knockoff brand or the real brand? Like, which one would you guys prefer more? The real brand. So, uh, for me, it's more of a question about experience. So, I would eat Cheerios. I would eat, like, all. The, I would eat the, the, the real brands most of the time. But then my older brother moved out, and then, you know, I started hanging out at his place. And uh, he started going to a place like Little and, like, you know, other places that are, like, really cheap compared to, like, mm-hmm. big stores. And uh, I tried a lot of knockoff stuff. I'm not going to lie. That shit's just as good. Yeah. You can tell the difference. I'm not saying it's better or worse, but it's still good. It's mm-hmm. different, but, like... Sometimes it's different in a better way. It, it seems like some of the like I can't rem- I can't think of an example off the top of my head, but some of the stuff is just like okay. Here's an example: if you go to Aldi and you buy English muffins, Aldi that was the one, yeah. Versus if you buy um, Thomas's English muffins, mm-hmm. dude, it's like night and day. You always go Thomas's. Like the yeah. generic brand mm-hmm. English muffins suck at Aldi. They're so <laughs> bad, but. That's not true for everything. Like, there's a lot of other stuff that's, like, generic or whatever that's, like, also good. I actually have a, an example, too. Stroop waffles. Mm. Uh, if you get the Stroop waffles, I don't know the actual one makes it, but you can kind of recognize by the packaging. Um, or, the, like, the oatmeal cream pies with the, the mm. stuff. Those are really nice. But if you get the off-brand ones, they taste like absolute shit. Yeah. So sometimes there is a difference. It's a hit or miss, but and like, it's all about experimentation, I think. But but uh, the where I think it's a good idea to get the off-brand ones, Sunny, is um, cereal. Because... Mm. 
Yeah. I, I forgot what the it's hard to fuck up cereal. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you just have to put enough sugar and everyone will enjoy it. Like, that's yeah. kind of the idea. <laughs> and, you, and they sell, like, super bulky packages, too. Like, mm. you can get so much more for so much less mm. yeah. than the other stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's not half filled with air anymore. It's actually, like, filled to the brim. I would say another thing that you want to buy the real brand of is, like, hot chocolate mix, man. Like, oh, yeah. if you buy Land O'Lakes, actually, like, hot chocolate mix, dude, it's so good. Versus, really? like, yeah, it's so good. I'm not, I'm not really from a lot of hot chocolate, but I remember going to Giant with you one time. Yeah, we went together, and I was like, I you fucking so picky. hate, I, yeah, I hate Swiss Miss, it's so bad. There's All right, another so, one. so here's the thing, he was, he, Chris was like, I want something, like, good. I'm like, oh, I know good for you. Hey, try Swiss Miss. He's like, <laughs> like, no. And he's like, what? I have, so basically, you've, you've had a lot of Swiss Miss. We yeah. don't really drink hot chocolate in our house, but when we do, it's only Swiss Miss sometimes. Swiss Miss and so is, that's why, to me, it was, like, really good. Swiss Miss is passable if you use milk instead of water, but... Oh, wait, I never use water. I always use milk. So yeah, like I that's what you pretty much <laughs> want to do is use milk. But if you use Land O'Lakes with water or milk, they're both really good. Like they're really rich, really creamy, like really flavorful in the right kind of way. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try some Land O'Lakes next. You should because it's it's super worth it, and you can tell it's gonna be worth it by how much they tell you to put in. It's like four tablespoons for one cup of water. Like that's the ratio, wow. which is like that's kind of a lot. Oh, I just, I just kind of put it in and mix it until it turns like the right, 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 right level of brown. I like. You yeah, know? I just like I just like scoop it in like one, two, three, four, stir it up. Oh my god, it's so good! And then they have this one flavor that's like raspberry, so it's like raspberry infused in the chocolate mix, and it's super good. They have like a couple other things. That like actually caramel. worries me because you know, like those chocolate boxes, assorted chocolates. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't like the cream, the jelly filled ones. Whoa, I love those. They're so good. I hate those. I'm more of a I want pure chocolate. I actually really like it when there's like frou frou shit in my food, <laughs> like chocolate Wait, or so, whatever. Okay, so do you guys like fruits in your chocolate or fruits oh, on your cake? Hey, no, no. Mm -mm. I yeah, I have to agree with Sunny on this I one. I just I don't like it. Um, so you guys are more are more like I just want the <coughs> I just want the chocolate. I just want. I just the... want the chocolate. Yeah, same. Straight up chocolate. Like, chocolate covered raisins are nasty. I'm okay, okay, okay. That. Raisins are different. Uh, who likes chocolate or raisins? I'm actually okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually okay. With okay. That. I like. I'm okay. With I think that. the nasty white chocolate covered raisins. I actually oh, want to try that. Oh yeah, those are good. I'm actually okay with it, but I would still much rather have just straight chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with any of the three, like straight chocolate, straight fruit, or a mix of both. I like both. Yeah. So like, I'm pretty was, easy to please actually. Yeah. Whenever we have like a birthday or anything in the house, my mom's always like, "Go get some fruit cake," and I'm like, "Can it just be like chocolate cake or ice cream cake or something mm -hmm. else or cheesecake?" I love cheesecake. Cheesecake is great. Oh my god. Ben and Jerry's makes this amazing um, cheesecake core ice cream thing. Oh, so what? it's like it's like vanilla cheesecake um, ice cream with chocolate cheesecake ice cream with like a cheesecake actual cheesecake core in the middle of it. It is so good. Oh my god! What the fuck? That sounds amazing, <laughs> know, dude. Ben and Jerry's fucking slabs it so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> Oh, man. I have a problem with, like, ice cream and kind of, like, sweet things. I like sweet stuff, but mm. I also like salty stuff, but I just can't eat it that much. The only thing I hate about shopping for food is that I have to wait until I get home to eat it. Really? Not, <laughs> no, not, 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 not for not me. Oh, really? Yeah. You guys just, like, you should have just eat it in the car? Okay, so especially if it's, like, like a sword chocolate or, like, a box or something, and I'm mm -hmm. bringing it for home and we're all going to share it anyways, yeah. I don't mind taxing. <laughs> Oh, I open wow. the thing and all the way home, I, I, I pop a cookie in my mouth and I close the box again. Like, I don't care. Or if, like, if it's chips, I just, like, open straight up and then just eat it. Because, like, I mean, my family won't care. Before I started dating Risa, I didn't let anybody bring food into my car. And if you've been in my car, you know that it's usually pretty clean. Uh, I'm going to say super clean. Yeah. Like, you know, it like, always smells nice, too. It still smells new, even though it's, uh, I bought it in 2015 and it's 20, it's almost 2020 now. So, like, it still has that kind of new car smell a little bit, like, if someone's, like, going in there. But, yeah, like, I'm pretty careful with it, but that went completely, like, <laughs> that's out the window now, like, because <laughs> sometimes you just, like, want to sit in the car and eat Taco Bell together. <laughs> Why is it always Taco Bell that, and I'm okay with eating the cars, but nothing else? It's so fucking it's messy. It comes, it, okay, it's, it's so messy. messy. Oh, my God. But it comes in a nice box, and it comes in nice wrapping. Yeah. But once it opens, why does the cheese and lettuce go everywhere? It, it goes, no matter how careful you are. It goes everywhere. And sometimes, like, the next day after we have, like, one of those nights where we're just eating Taco Bell in my car together, I just have to go in there and, like, clean it up a little bit. Because, like, you you don't know what you're going to find. Like, you might find a little bit of something, something. Like, lettuce, cheese. I don't know what it is. I can't. I can't do what you guys do, man. I mean, so, I, can, like, I, I can understand I eating, like, fast food in your car. But, like, when you go, like, grocery shopping and then... 
You guys just open the bag. I don't. I don't do that either. Okay, no, I don't no, do that not, either. Not chips. I'm talking like specifically, like you know, those like cheap. <laughs> like me, <laughs> or is it like cookies or something? Like I would never eat. I'm talking those plastic. In my car. <laughs> yeah, the plastic packaging that clips closed. And like you know, like the cookie, those boxes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like those, I'm okay and with. And you can like one. reclose them. I thought you guys were like, like rip open that chip ahoy thing and just like. <laughs> 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 I, I don't that. think I don't think I could do that because that's kind of like, it might get messy. Like that's actually yeah. that's actually dangerous. Actually, Sunny being in my car, Sunny and Aras both being mm-hmm. in my car. You guys know my car is pretty clean, yeah. so I don't actually. Oh come on! Sunny. <laughs> I bet it's cleaner than yours. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's fair. That's true. I've that's never true. seen cheese car, but it, it can't be messy than Sunny. <laughs> no, you guys. Oh, like... there's one car messier than Sunny's. This is mine. Oh. I put all my rackets in there. I'll grant you that. All my random shit. I ran receipts from places I've been just on on like it's. Sunny just has like random it's, shit from it's like not dirty various <laughs> jobs in this car. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So hey. mine, my, my, mine isn't dirty bad. It's just like unorganized bad. Sunny's got like a. <laughs> Like a safety vest thing that reflects. Hey, come on. <laughs> got like a helmet, all kinds of just random ass okay, shit. Okay, that's not random. He's just prepared for, you know, extreme circumstances or situations. They call him up. We need you to come in today. I know it's been a couple months, but <laughs> it's an emergency. <laughs> okay, I'm there. <laughs> I know it's been a few years since you volunteered, but hey, we could really <laughs> Yeah. Well, what, what do we like about shopping? Like, anything? Um... I like it. I like getting the notification on my phone because I have Amazon shopping when uh, it says it's arrived. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because that's always a good feeling. Um, I, I see those memes sometimes that people like, uh, the moment you order, they look at the window. Yeah. I don't know. I'm actually kind of okay with the wait. <laughs> oh, I, I hate waiting for stuff. If I order it online, like that's actually one of the big advantages to me um, over online shopping is instant gratification. That is true. Right. So, for you. example... Pokemon Sword and Shield just dropped. I haven't had a chance to pick it up yet, but I know that Razme and Leilani pre-ordered it, mm-hmm. and it did come yesterday, like the day of. But for me, I would much rather go to like Target or something and just go physically, like pick out the game, hold it, take it to the checkout, and say, "Okay, like I'm definitely gonna buy this. I'm gonna go home play." All it. right, so just just a little thing for y'all. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah actually, I actually have Pokemon Shield right here. This is my bag. Nice. Um, when did you get it? So. They did pre-order it, and they got it the first day of, mm-hmm. but they pre-ordered so fucking long ago. That's the type of way I'm not okay with. The reason I'm okay with Amazon shopping is because it says, what, three to five days or whatever. Um, I, I know what, what to expect, mm-hmm. right? For this, I, I got Pokemon Shield, and I got it the day of also, but I went in person in the morning. The reason yeah. I did that was because Walmart had to deal where only for the day of, and as long as it's stocked, you get $10 off. Oh, oh wow! wow. That's awesome. So I, I got for 50, the fifty bucks. Oh wow! Fifty two something with tax instead of the normal sixty. That's smart. And it's only Walmart and only for the day of. But why didn't Walmart tell me this yet? I, know. <laughs> I learned it randomly, just like playing games on Discord, and then I was told, "Like, what the fuck?" Oh, that's crazy! No, I got hit at the Walmart. I know, yeah, for damn. real. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, Walmart's it's, pretty it's cheap day, anyway. It's too. Day late. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. You need a time machine. I'm about to hit up Persona Five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. When it comes out. And yeah, so it was such a big release that they decided to make a deal off of it. And um, weirdly enough, uh, I went to Walmart that was not very well populated. Like, it was like in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. And it was like, there's not many people there. So I got the copy. I went in the morning, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was at, I'm going to go when it opens. And I Google them. Oh, shit. It's 24 hours. Could it already be done? But yeah, they still had a couple of copies left. That's awesome. Yeah, I bet that everything is like sold out right now. They're not going to reship until. Mm-hmm. Later, I'm sure, but yeah. like. So I know some people and some of my friends uh, like digital copies of games because it makes everything more efficient. But sometimes I do like that physical thing. It depends for me, like. So I, I absolutely love the convenience of being able to like close the software I'm currently doing, scrolling through my library, picking a thing, and not having to like leave my lazy ass from the couch. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> to that's put true. a new disc. In. Okay, okay, that's fair. But I do like having. Like, if it was Pokemon, I would want the physical just because I have the physical of everything else. Uh, so, so it's more of a collection. Like a collection, you know, completionist thing for you. Yeah. And then, you know, like, if we're going to get into, like, digital releases and stuff, we might as well talk about, like, Google Stadia. Like, if you don't know, Google Stadia is, like, a online streaming service put out by Google, obviously, uh, where you can pay for a game. But then you also have to pay a monthly fee to use the service, and then you're streaming the game from their servers. So you don't own the game physically, it's not downloaded on your PC anywhere, you're literally streaming a game. And you can stream it to your phone, you can stream it to your PC, whatever. 
Um, I already sound unokay with that. I'm already kind yeah, of okay with that. Because as soon as Google decides, you know what, this is a failed venture, we're going to shut the servers off, that's it. You don't have a game at all. Like, mm-hmm. you're not, you don't have a download on it or anything. Like, if it was at least on your hard drive or something, that'd be one thing. But even like that, Steam. yeah, it, yeah. If it was like your Steam library and you could just re-download it again, that'd be fine. But since it's Stadia and like, I don't know, maybe that's inaccurate because like you do have to pay for the game. But it's it's to, it's my understanding that like, if the service shuts down, there's no way for you to, to be able to stream that game anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there are circumstances where you like the online version, but there's also circumstances where the physical instant gratification is better. Is there anything that you like? Even though you do like online shopping, cheap, is there sometimes a time when you like the physical? Like, I don't know, maybe makeup. Would you want to wait wait for that, or would, would you rather buy that in person? Uh, okay, so with makeup, I would definitely go in stores to, like try it on because sometimes, mm. like you know, like online shopping, like online images could be deceiving. Mm, you so, get the Chinese and then, yeah, also like <laughs> <laughs> well, but the thing about makeup is sometimes when you go in the store, you look in the mirror and then you look completely different from what is actually looks on you. So sometimes mm-hmm. I actually had to go in and get, get a sample or something, like try it on, get out of the store, and then see how it looks on me in like, okay. you know, normal lighting. Yeah, that's fine. Um, random, but for perfume, I do have to put it on my skin and then go away, like go home and then test it out, see how it actually like wears on your skin. Mm-hmm. You're not like, for perfume, you're not supposed to just go in and buy. That's that's not how you do it. Really? Yeah. Because, <laughs> Why? So, so because I, I thought it's it was based on different. smell. Well, yes, of course. But because with perfume, it's kind of like it has different notes. So the, the first thing that you smell when you spray it on could be totally different from what it is like a couple of hours later. Oh, okay. Oh, because it makes yeah. it, it, makes it yeah. And also because with perfume, it's kind of like you're like, own chemicals on your skin and stuff like something like could smell amazing on you could smell like horrific in somebody else hmm. so yeah, yeah um, so perfume just, in general yeah allergic. in general <laughs> oh really so you, have a, you have a valid reason to stay away <laughs> yeah I'm allergic to perfume oh okay I is see. it a certain type of perfume or like all perfume or something I think it's probably something like the chemical, the chemical commonly yeah. used perfume hmm. like maybe I'm allergic to interesting but I just try to avoid perfume in general what about <laughs> cologne does that count Mm, I don't think so. I mean, I mean, my parents don't use cologne. It's only my mom that uses perfume. Oh, I see. We yeah. so like back when I was um, back in high school, I used to perform in the pit orchestra for like theater productions and stuff. Um, and one year we were doing Les Mis, and one of the guys that played the trombone, I believe, he was allergic to perfume, and I think that one of the people on stage was like always just like wearing perfume, and he was breaking out so bad, like he was. I think that he was having like trouble with like breathing even and he couldn't play his trombone obviously because he couldn't blow in it but yeah like we had to like <laughs> we had to put out like an email and like tell a bunch of people like okay don't come to rehearsal with perfume anymore don't come to performance with perfume like this dude is like suffering <laughs> and he can't play so I like suck. please stop that's so, that, i mean that's fair but also kind of mm-hmm. sad yeah i mean because people ask for allergies about like food mm-hmm. and stuff like that and always content but like Random things like this, like, Sunny, when you told me you were allergic to cream, that was the first time I heard some of that. I guess I should have expected that that's mm-hmm. a thing, but I just never met somebody who would... That's, that's pretty interesting. Wait, so, Sunny, like, how, how do you know if you have, like, a re- reaction? Like, like you have to... Get, like, little but is it has to like be, that. like, a direct mm-hmm. contact, or is it, like, when you it's smelled like, it, or... It's, it just has to be very, like, strong, strong for me to notice, uh-huh. you know? Hopefully. If it's put on me, yeah, I get, like, immediate reactions. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, so I kind of, like, stay away. Yeah. But what if it's just, like... Say like me and wear perfume or something. Would I mean, you're fine. A... Oh, okay. I mean, you're fine, but it's like I try my best to right. avoid it. Avoid, as much yeah. as I can. Keep some distance. Yeah. So yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> that's what I do with cats too. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. that's, that's why you know I go to the, I go to like uh, Macy's or something. I try like avoid the food section. Yeah. Like a... yeah, the food section are huge. How do you yeah. avoid those? Like... I know. Yeah. It's like in SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, like in SpongeBob. <laughs> it's like in SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> the cartoon. <laughs> the <laughs> section. That's great. But yeah. So is you because it's me, my dad that are both sick from this thing. So my, mm. when wow. my mom wears it, it gets really bad. <laughs> oh no! She likes it a lot. Mm, interesting. Uh, yeah. So me you guys would never like buy anything like perfume. Like, no. Like, <laughs> no. She buys it herself. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't really do perfume a lot, but I do remember one time when some mom was checking some stuff out, and my only uh, indicator for whether I liked or disliked something was the first smell. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, this is yeah. good, or okay, this is not good. Mm. And I guess I never, I didn't realize it could change depending on the person. 
the skin, mix it with sweat after a few hours, you know, if you're hanging out or whatever, and then yeah. it probably smells different. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm. I probably should have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything that you guys want to, like, look to purchase for yourselves? Anything big that you're just, like, saving up for? So, not necessarily just for myself, but um, technology is definitely one thing. Like, I actually enjoy browsing through and like looking through technology yeah sure um i don't know why and i don't mean like computer stuff because i'm set for like what i want right now do i have anything in particular not really mm-hmm. i think maybe a splitter maybe something for us yeah mm-hmm. that's something i really do want though what is it it's um this purple hoodie oh my god <laughs> the Mucci video. john mayer john mayer and, oh. I, and i really want that it's like 80 dollars it looks like trash. I really want it for some reason. It looks like, you know, it literally does look like trash. Like, there's like food stains on it and stuff. <laughs> like, when he says trash, he actually means it. It's like so a hobo. aesthetic. It's like a hobo, but I like it. But <laughs> I'll show you two. We'll, uh, we'll put the link of that music video in the description. Yeah, you just, can watch just it. Just so you guys can see what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah. That's what I really want. How about you, Chi? Um, I know exactly what I want. Well, kind of. Um, I think I'm gonna get the AirPods, but not oh, the yeah. Pro, because that thing looks ugly. Like the first, yeah, the first, AirPods? yeah, mm-hmm. well, the first one, like second one. So, true. Target has some pretty good deal on it. So, hmm. do you see? Do you see the one they're coming out with next? Yeah, so I, um, I saw they, it. They have the safety guard. Safety guard. It's, it's, it's a wire that connects, and Ooh. basically it stops. <laughs> oh. I, think I think they're going back. <laughs> they're slowly going back. No, no I'm just joking. It's no. just a meme. It's like, oh, they now have like false, fall proof. <laughs> Uh, uh, safety wires no. attached. Oh like, no. Isn't that just? <laughs> but the thing is, I saw on Target they have like a uh, pretty good deal for some Beats headphones, mm-hmm. pretty much like mm-hmm. cheaper than the AirPods. So now, like, I'm torn. I'm like, should I get Ooh. the AirPods or should I get? I Beats? think you should get the AirPods. Really? Yeah. Honestly, I think she should. You're it's not a Beats smaller? fan. No, no, I, I, I don't mind Beats, but I feel like for convenience sake mm-hmm. and like for comfort's sake for cheap, yeah. I think AirPods would be a lot just better than. Are you allowed to wear earbuds earbuds at work? Yeah. Okay, that's why. I think. Yeah, because I I don't want to have like something. I would go earbuds then. I would go earbuds. It'd be very unprofessional at work if you're wearing your beats. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, actually, some people do. Yeah, some people. So, like, one of of my coworkers is like a programmer, and so, like, when he's not doing like meetings and shit like that, he just is like at his desk, like over the ear um, headphones, just like totally plugged in, you know? Mm -hmm. But. There's also another programmer that just walks around with AirPods all day and can, like, take it out easily yeah. and have a yeah. conversation yeah. with. Mm-hmm. I think that would be, like, a smart move. Right. All right. So, so for me personally, I actually like uh, headphones, like, big-ass headphones. Like, I love the gaming. I love all that. But the convenience is a big issue. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. lugging that around and wearing it. I can't, like, plug it into my phone and walk around and listen to music. Mm-hmm. It's not. It won't work. So I might. Um, one thing I wanted to maybe try I'll out. Maybe I'll look out for some wireless. Yeah, so I want I, what I want is something my mom got recently, and I don't know. She looks like she's had fun with it. It's not necessarily AirPods. It's like the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth earphones, mm-hmm. and then like the charger like this case or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much AirPods, but um, a little different. But it's like a like, different it's brand, more like plugs. I gotcha. So it has like the little rubber things. Yeah, it's it's, oh. it's for like Samsung or whatever. It, it, it's, you can use I'm, it for everything. Yeah, I, I like so Samsung like they have. Ah, uh, what's it called? AGX or something like that? Like, what brand is it again? The ear, the earbuds? I don't know. <laughs> they sound amazing. Like, they sound really good. Like, personally for me, I like it more than Apple's that it comes with. So I feel like the Samsung wireless ones that they have out now might be a really good option, too. I would definitely look into those if you haven't. I just don't like the fact or how they're, like, so ridiculously priced just because they, yeah. they are new, yeah. relatively right. new compared to other, you know earphone headphone products mm. um but now it's become more normalized hopefully they go because now you can get cheap earphones for like 10 15 bucks and get good ones for like 30 40 yeah right. i want airpods and like other bluetooth stuff to go down to that price too yeah before i get that it'll be probably like a couple of years but yeah it'll happen eventually i'm sure hmm. is there anything chris that you were looking at specifically because we all um not really. I'm kind of getting on the PS5 hype train, but that's not coming out until like winter 2020. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's gonna be a while for that. I'm, con- I, I'm, I'm, I have a very big qualm about consoles, just because you have to buy a new console, buy its controller, unless it has backwards compatibility, and then buy those games. It's just a lot of work. Yeah, I know that you're uh, like a diehard like PC gamer type of yeah. person. I actually prefer consoles because I'm more casual kind of person. Mm-hmm. 
Um, that's why the Switch is like kind of perfect for me because you can dock it, but you also have it on the go, which is so great. That's that's why the Switch is kind of um, uh, an exception for me, is because I can dock it and just play it. I mean, I still like the controller feel. I still play yeah. my PC games with a controller sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just I don't want to buy a new console. The Switch was an exception because of Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's true. And like the exclusives that you get too, like of course, like Sunny and I were talking about Persona Five, uh, the Royal coming out. But Persona Five, just like base model, is a PS4 exclusive. Mm-hmm. And so, I don't know. Like, I've always been like more of a Sony kind of person, okay. so I would definitely like look forward to getting that in the future. Right here. I don't know. Do you do you game much? We're not. No, I actually don't. I just never get like the hype of it. It's just too much time dedicated to it. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I don't know. It's just not me. Well, I I do play, but it's just like Candy Crush and stuff. Like mm-hmm. it's not like actual mm-hmm. gaming where you have to like. Would it be like on the App Store and stuff? Yeah, like stuff and like. Like friends. mobile and stuff. Yeah, mobile. You, yeah. Do you pay or do you just play the free ones? I just play the free one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It was like ninety nine cents. It'd be like. I don't know. See, it's only 99 cents. Like, you could drop four quarters and never remember them, but for some reason, if it's on the app store, you don't want to like, pay. It's it's a weird. I don't know. Well, why. My thing, the thing about gaming is that for me, it's entertainment, and it's not like something you actually need, at least mm-hmm. for me. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I'm like, I don't want to pay money for it, because I feel like once I pay for it once, there's never going to be like going back. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think that uh, you, you probably relax in different ways too. <laughs> you know, so I was like, I try to stay away from it. Yeah. So you don't want to get your foot in the door because then you're worried. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're gonna start. Yeah. Just you're gonna feel more down. comfortable buying. Yeah, but for games. Yeah. It's kind of like movies. Well, guys, it's just like a movie. It's time for the end credits on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again for having me. Definitely a fun discussion today. A lot about all you guys. So. All right. Peace out, guys. Bye. <laughs>